like artists. I like talking with artists. I like talking with people. I like exchanging ideas. I like seeing things as they happen. I like figure, fumbling my way through and figuring it out as I go. What's your favorite piece on the show? My favorite piece in the show... I really like... Okay, the, I like... I really like Dervish. The Gary Hill piece. I really like that piece a lot. That piece was really important because when I saw that show, it was the first time... I think the first time I saw... It was after the Bill Viola show. Bill Viola show was one of the first shows that really impressed me here. But the other show that really impressed me... But for a different reason. Bill Viola, I kind of got it. I went through and okay, this is about death. This is... Okay, got it. 19 years old, I was 18 or whatever, 17 or whatever. I was like, got that. It's great. Baby reflected in the mother. She's dying. The baby's born. It's amazing. Um, clear. Got it. But then I came to the Scary Hill show. And I didn't understand anything. I was lost. And I was like, okay. This is the same place that showed something that I really got. And now I don't get it. What's going on in that? Like me. And so and it's the Dervish piece is a really strong sensory experience and uh, that I f that really impacted me and um, in a way even it's the idea that when you come out of a piece and you don't know what it was you don't know what you just saw but you know something happened mm -hmm. and that I found interesting and that I thought was really powerful as a thing now I don't think I'm the biggest Gary Hill fan in the world I, whatever but I like his work fair enough but that piece still is important I found very, very important just for, on a personal level, but also in that sort of emergence of crazy multi-channel video experimentation in the early 90s. Uh, yeah, I think that piece is, I forget when that was made. But um, that piece I like a lot, but there's another piece I saw that I just went through um, that was really, I like that, uh, like that Carl Andre, those 4 by 4 is really good. That's a really good piece. I'd forgotten. I'd seen it a long time ago. And I, forgot. I like that work a lot. That's one of the things I'm going to have to go back through and go look and say, okay, that I've seen before. That yeah. I've seen before. That. Some of it, there's some really wild stuff. There's some really kind of neat, neat layouts. Because she show, she's showing some of the works like about a foot away from where they had been shown before. Mm -hmm. Like the Altmade pieces are shown in the same place as they were shown at the, at the Triennial, more or less. The, um, the Tuzignan, the same place that piece was shown in the Tuzignan retrospective. Uh, the solo Pascal de Maison mm -hmm. piece was shown in the same spot. Which, kind of, which I found was really, really clever, kind of anchoring this, uh, these works in, a, in, in the collection, yeah, sure, but also in places that people had experimented them before in these galleries how, that are constantly transformed. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, like, but you can return to, to these. Anyways, I thought that was, that was clever. It's so also given the nature of the exhibition, it also occurred to me that you figure they've been shown before, yeah. the people showing them before have done a lot of research yeah, into exactly. deciding what's the best place yeah. and so on. Yeah, so there was a lot of that too. Like, this is mm -hmm. na the natural place mm -hmm. for this piece, for the Comaison, for example. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's like, it's the, the book that accompanies that piece, the installation book, is that area. Like, uh, so, so it's either you adapt it, which we could have, mm -hmm. or you recreate that mm -hmm. that space somewhere else, which we also could have, but, or you could just use the same one, mm -hmm. which we did, mm -hmm. and it worked out really great. People have been commenting, mm -hmm. that you're just saying, oh my goodness, that's exactly where, I'm, <laughs> it's where I first yes. saw this piece. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, how do you, so talk about these are your favorite seasons, the ones you like, how do you recognize great art? How do you recognize no, you, great art? You, how do I recognize yes. great mm -hmm. art? I don't know if I can. Okay. I think I, I don't know if it's great or not. You know, I often feel that something's going on that if I were to dig a bit would be rewarding. Like on a sort of immediate level. Okay. I'm talking about like immediate contact like at first. Then you recognize that it becomes great probably through 
not just your gaze or your ideas, but the collected ideas of others through time. So I can see something and say, I think there's something going on here. And then I can have the privilege of having the opportunity to dig and to come up with something. But as I'm digging, I'm finding out more things. And I'm like, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. This is getting more and more interesting as I'm digging. And then after that, uh, the thing's presented or whatever, or it's acquired, and da 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 da, and I close the books and I put it aside. And then later, something else will come up and it will be directly related to that work. And you'll be, oh, somebody else saw something that I didn't see after me. And it's making me think about this again, but differently. That's also good. That's good. And then as time goes, maybe that'll stick. Maybe it'll fall apart. It's kind of out of my hands. Um, or I will have the immense opportunity to actually go back and think about it again and dig again and rethink. And then, and, you know, and you build it. And you kind of build this. You don't build it. That's not the right analogy. You unearth it. You unearth the greatness. Like it's there. And you just have to, like it's the, the old Michelangelo cliche, get in the, get in the figure out of the rock. And um, so it's great. It's really great. And, and or, um, yeah, so you'll have that, that, I think that's how it happens. And it, it is cumulative. It's, it'll be like, it'll be, it's, it's a collective effort to, to unearth the greatness. Is that sort of how what strikes you those are the things that strike you about the Gary Hill is that that's yeah the Gary Hill was a real combination of things like I said I, and I think that honest what's really weird is that Gary it's, a, it's so low fi it's got a, like kind of also like a nostalgic quality to it because it's really low fi and it's like a wooden construction it's kind of like those old project like this these old video projectors and I had the opportunity also to see like the control panel of that thing. That's giant switches and knobs. It's like there's no there's they use a IBM ThinkPad to to kind of run it. it programs in DOS. It's it's a weird thing in that regard. So there is that sort of the sheen, this mm -hmm. this sort of weird polish of history that's making its way, like this sort of patina that's that's a, helping a bit and that's part of it. But also there there's I think there's something in his work in general that's that kind of, maybe three years ago, I saw this is so twee and so, you know, why isn't this like sexy? <laughs> and now you realize that, oh, okay, like it's, it's not sexy yeah. for this, 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 this reason and it makes it good for that, that, that reason. So it's the idea too, like when do, when do sort of revisited aesthetics become sort of fashionable again? But not only that, it's not the idea of them becoming fashionable, it's the idea that they become sort of magnetic that um, ideas can stick to them and and bring them to the next level. So uh, revisiting certain aesthetics, like some people, oh, that's it's too soon to be talking about that now. It's too soon for postmodernism. It's too soon for figurative painting with abstract elements thrown in. It's, it's too soon. But it, it, it it's just inevitable. Like we recuperated a mid seventies a conceptual art, the, the typed oh, the machine, the typing machine. Oh my God, look at hands like typed. Oh, that's amazing. These documents have been hand typed and polygraphed and, so and polycopied and so on. And these are great, you know, like, and, and, and the, because ideas of today's ideas can sort of see something in that that's bringing it somewhere else. But we're not quite yet.